Sarah Toff from the Laurel Leader, and today I'm going to learn how to drive a Zamboni. You have two different types of people who drive the Zamboni. You have the Zamboni drivers and you have ice makers. And ice makers and Zamboni drivers are two different The person who goes out there, learns to drive it, learns the pattern, does it, does it really, and, and you can tell the difference of one over the other, the person who's like this and staring right ahead and they turn, they never look over their right shoulder. If you're a Zamboni driver who drives with your left hand, they're always looking this way as they come because they're wanting to see what, what they're doing. Tom Hendricks, the owner and manager here at the Gardens Ice House, had about maybe fewer than a dozen people in a class. We learned the history of the Zamboni, how the Zamboni works, many technical terms that I can't recall. And then he took us all out to this rink um, with two Zambonis and we all took turns resurfacing the ice. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with Zambonis, but they're pretty huge and I am a relatively short person. So getting into the Zamboni was quite a challenge. I almost wiped out before I even made it. Once seated, we got going. It is like driving a golf cart, except about a ton heavier. It is something that I have wanted to do for most of my life, and now I can cross it off my bucket list. It was exciting, it was terrifying, um, but I didn't wreck, which is more than I can say for than my experience is driving a car. So thank you so much for joining me as I learned how to drive the Zamboni today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. So for the Laurel Leader, this is Sarah Toth.